Welcome. Friday morning. Friday morning. So today we're going to talk about something that is near and dear to each of our hearts for, well, several things. <laughs> I loaded this up today. Yeah. That doesn't necessarily mean that she they have to She took days stories. from the weekend. That's because there was, a, I couldn't find anything that I, like, I, I, I thought that the best ideas came from days from the weekend. So, so we're celebrating them today on yes, Friday. Because you can't just miss them just because they don't happen on a convenient day. So. A weekday. It's, yeah. So, it, the, so this Sunday, in two days from now, is Grandparents Day, National Pet Memorial Day, and National Hug Your Hound Day, and also National Swap Ideas Day. So give us your ideas. Yes, swap ideas. It's a with national us. day. We'll for give that. you ideas. You give us ideas. Yes. Tell and us what you need ideas for, and we'll share we everything will. we can come up we with. We will. Like people in my book nerd group, they ask me for ideas on what books to read, and I tell them. <laughs> so. <laughs> And um, share ideas with other people, too. Just brainstorm. Yes, yes. Freely. Yes. It's this whole weekend. It's a good day. So we're going to talk about memories, once again, of our pets and our grandparents. Yes. So she has a dog. Yes, I do. And so here is a picture of him and me. And we're hugging. National hugging her dog for the day. Hug your hound day. Yeah, it's whatever. catchy. Hug your hound. Right. It's catchy. Because I love him. He's awesome and adorable and he's getting old. I once had two so hamsters. He just gets cuter with age. She did. And so I have actually a hilarious story about this. So we were living in Illinois and she, and so in Illinois, you know, they don't have the earthquake dangers and, and those kind of things and everything like that. It's, they have other dangers. And like they, tornadoes. Yeah, tornadoes flooding. and flooding. Yeah, they have, they have flooding they potentials, rain. thunderstorms and everything like that. And so they had a tornado warning siren go off at one point in time. And she oh. was only like 12 years old. And so... I just remember what story she's telling. Me <laughs> I so, was eleven. Okay, give me a break. So what happened was she, she and I both lived upstairs, and it was freezing, which comes to a different part of the story. So that I'm not going to tell. She can tell how her hamster died, and <laughs> so we hear the siren go off, and I was fascinated by tornado storms and thunderstorms and cumulonimbus clouds, which are the clouds that produce those kind of storms. And if you needed to know that, and even if you didn't, now you do. And so I raced out. So I like made a straight shot for the door so that I could watch the storm because I think they're super awesome. And Lindy grabs the whole entire terrarium for her hamsters and ups and bolts down from the first, from the second floor down to the main floor the and basement. down to the basement. Yep. And she, <laughs> so to make, because when you get hit by a tornado or when there's a tornado nearby, what do you do? You go to the lowest place of ground or whatever, and, or, or else you, you just try and make sure that you're not, you're, you just try and get low. And so she, you, you were taught in school that you get into the basement. So she takes her hamsters because her hamsters can't be allowed to get sucked up by the tornado either. So I just think that's super hilarious. And a tornado, a tornado actually hit like a mile from our house. So don't it, it me. wasn't it wasn't like an my hamsters were important to me thing. at eleven. Okay. <laughs> now tell them since it's Pet Memorial Day, tell them how they died. Well, one of them she was really old. She just died, and then the other one was significantly younger than she was, and then. He died because one weekend we, I think we left for like two a days. A small trip. So I fed him the morning of, and then and she gave him plenty home, of food to, yeah. to sustain them until but we got home. my mom turned the heat down for a while we were gone, and, and yeah, we were up <laughs> in a freezing, like, attic type room. Which is funny renovated. because heat rises, but it was cold up there. Yeah, so my one... Died, the young rose to death. <laughs> Sounds so terrible. Oh my goodness. Sorry. I'm no, I'm okay. <laughs> I'm laughing. <laughs> so another another since his grandparents and 
Hug Your Hound Day and or, Pet Memorial and Day, Pet Memorial Day, whatever. My grandma's dog. Day. When my after my son was born, she had this tiny white mini Schnauzer. Okay, he was she was great. Too. She was harmless, but she, she was she was so tiny, loud like, and obnoxious. Like, and my son was terrified. Like, he wouldn't let me even set him down the whole time we were over there. And he was only, he's five now, so it was four years ago. He was under one. And he just was so, every time we'd walk in the door, he'd like freak out and want to sit on my lap. And my grandpa pretended like he didn't like her. But when he took <laughs> naps laying on the floor with his feet up, he, she would come and curl up in his arm, like right here, and just curl up and sleep with him when he was taking a nap. And he didn't like say anything to her, so he was just, like a closet lover of this dog, Chelsea. And well, and he he would take care of her, and he would look out for her, and everything like yeah, that. So and so another he's... thing about the, the dogs and everything is that my grandma's. So my dog, he hates other animals it doesn't matter what kind of animal it is it doesn't not matter if it's a dog or a squirrel or a vole or a mole or anything he hates them he's gotten along with the chickens he's learned how oh to. yeah he's learned how to coexist with the chickens he just really doesn't like the cats but he's learned how to coexist with the chickens we taught him in a in a very disciplinary action we were in, in a disciplinary manner we were just i mean we weren't like cruel to him or anything like that because we love him but we, 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 we taught him that he couldn't, like they, they, we did, we, we looked online and we found out a bunch of little tricks like hang the rooster around his neck, not tight enough to choke him or anything, just so that he has to smell it for a couple hours. And it's not like it's, it's going to hurt him or anything like that, but it puts it in his brain like, you don't do this. And so we did things like that. And so he... He doesn't, he can be in, we can leave him in the backyard with our 30 chickens and he won't touch them. And actually. He gets bored back there, actually. He does. He gets bored back there. But he, he actually, sometimes they'll, they'll kind of a little bit bully him. Like there was this one chicken and for, and I was mowing the lawn and this one chicken, she was, she was like going around the the lawn and he kept on moving and she kept on following him around and he kept on like running away from her it was hilarious and adorable and yeah, he's anyway. also afraid of the animals he really doesn't like yeah and so cake. he is he is a fruitcake so chelsea her my grandma's dog she she and, and my dog he ended up getting along with her really well and yeah she he got along with her really well and it was pretty funny because um, he, he started becoming really good friends with her and then she ended up getting hit by a car and he actually acted sad. Like he, he was just he like, where's my friend? Morning time. Yeah. Her. And he was just like, where's my friend? Like he would look for her and stuff. So it was pretty funny because he's never done that with any other animal. Yeah. He's a snob. <laughs> I love my dog. He's so funny. He's so cute. Um, so I wanted to, to spend just a moment speaking about my grandpa. He was my hero. And basically the reason, like, I revolved my life around him. I wanted to do everything like him. I followed him around and he thought it was kind of annoying because I think that he wanted a grandson to be his pride and joy and kind of follow in his footsteps. And it ended up being me. And I, because I was completely obsessed with just following him around and doing everything that he did. And my grandpa had a lot of grandchildren and I, it was just, I was the only one. I was just like, I want to be you when I grow up. And so that's why I joined the Navy. And that's why I did everything that I did. And I kind of swapped his profession and his hobby. I took on his profession as my hobby and his hobby as my profession. And so even though really I want to do some other things entirely unrelated, but that's, a side, <laughs> that's besides the point. But I just, um, it was like the, it was... He was my hero. He was my world. Uh, besides Tyree and my mom and Lindy, the, Tyree is our older sister, and they. He just. He was my world. So, um, I miss him. But anyway, and I miss my grandma too. But I really, it was it was just it was a hard time. So yeah, we were going through the house after both of them had passed away. They they passed away like a year from each other. No. It Two? was, um, I think, three years. Oh, yeah, three years. So, <clears throat> so my grandma kept everything. 
we were going through the house after they, were, pack rat. after they were gone, and we, yeah, and we, I mean, they weren't like hoarders or anything. No, but, but she, she just had things that were really important to her, and she... It was a lot of stuff. And, and it, But it was sentimental things for us. Like, as the cousins and the aunts and uncles were, like, their direct children, were going through the house, it was like, hey, I remember this. And we, some of the things that are meaningless to the rest of the world, we were, like, fighting over, like, um, no, I'm taking this. I'm sorry. And since I lived really close to her, I... Don't tell the cousins. And if you're watching this, I'm sorry. Don't judge me. I actually went in and took some of the toys that I played with as a child. And I took them for my children so that they could play with them because... They're sentimental I, to us. Yeah. I we love. were there a lot. So I, we were yes. there growing up. As grandma a single and grandpa mom. Kind of... Our yeah. Sing, our, our single, single mom, mom needed their help a lot. And so, so we, we were there a lot. We yeah. spent more time over there than I think probably more than any of the other grandchildren. <laughs> Yeah, and so, um, he, so she, she. One thing was that they she kept a, a couple of magazines so, so subscriptions from like I'm not kidding from about the 1960s, maybe the late the the mid 1950s. It was interesting she, to see. No, those, they were though. no, no, and I and I thought I just thought it it was a cute, funny quirk from of my grandma. She kept every month, like she she had like stacks. Of these these catalogs or magazines from like the 1950s and 1960s and 1970s and so on and so forth, and she still had them, and I she was just a funny lady, and so and 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 one last thing I want to give a shout out to our mom who is a grandma. Yeah, definitely. And she's an awesome one. She, she is. is an amazing grandma, and so here is a picture of her and some yes. of her grandchildren, which she always wanted. She always wanted to be a grandma, and so yeah, she finally got her like wish. Her, Not from me. We're just her vehicle to get her to grandchildren. Yes. <laughs> after a certain point. So tell us funny stories about your grandparents and, and your, your animals. And yeah. animals and just... I mean, even animals, if you have, like, some cute stories, like where you raised a bird or something like that. Load a picture of you hugging your, your hound. hound. Yes, please. show us that. Yes. Thank you for watching. That. And share, subscribe, comment, like, and may adventures be in your hearts. <laughs>